What we need the ingredients for. We need three eggs. We need some flour. We need some pineapple because it's pineapple cake. We need one vanilla icings. We need some yummy sugar. We need some baking powder. That's all we need. It's an easy recipe. Now we'll get back to it. We have a bowl of eggs. And this eggs we're gonna add in. I'm gonna take this out and listen, please. If you have two eggs in the comma right, you have to add three. And children like my age can also add it. We have to beat the eggs nicely into the batter. Into the perfect batter. Next, we're gonna add the sugar. Now you can see the sugar, how much sugar is there. Now this much sugar you need to add in. I'm gonna just add it in all of my sugar now don't keep on stopping and adding your sugar this is the batter how it needs to be everybody please make sure your batter is like this and when you're putting it in the oven you will get to see what uh, temperature it needs to be or maybe um, we'll put in the microwave you never know it look, it has to look like a little bit like this like it looks it has to look like a um or tang or orange juice or something so the batter is nice and cool you need to let the batter set you need a little more of the sugar because it's too thick as you saw so while I'm just gonna mix it so we don't waste a lot of time you have to mix it in a good way so when you put it in the oven or microwave and when you take it out there's no bubbles now we uh, made a cake before which had the bu bubbles if it has bubbles i'll just tell you how you can cover the bubbles you can make icing use the icing to put it on top of it and that will make the, your cake not to show at all now today is uh, going to be a fun day because i'm going for my little sister's dedication and family and friends will be joining us that's why I think maybe we can also have this cake if it comes out right. We can come back home and we can also celebrate it here as well. When we come from the church, we can come here, celebrate it, make it a nice. See guys, this is how it needs to be. The oil. Just to make it a little bit. Um, again now we're gonna add a little bit of baking soda not too much make sure your oil gets beaten with all the ingredients not one ingredient is missed without your oil your oil should be mixed with all the ingredients the oil is actually the main in your cake now we will add a little bit of vanilla icings into, uh, let me show you. Now the vanilla icings into the orange cup. And we need something in case the vanilla just spills. Slowly and slowly, because if anyone anything spills, yeah, that's it. Two teaspoons, I think. Yeah, one actually. For me, I think it's only one, because I don't want it to be bitter. Bitter cakes will be like, what is this? This is a bad recipe. And I don't want people to say that in my recipe. What am I doing? After mix it this. Now also the vanilla icing give it a vanilla taste. Um, the smell and the color. That's why in every cake people put vanilla icing because they think it will make their cake nice and good. Now add the oil. We're just gonna stir like this. So I decide not to put butter. I don't want the cake to stick and the pineapples because we're putting the pineapples on it and we don't want the pineapples to stick on the pan. Otherwise we won't be able um, to 
that you say, um, get the pineapple out. You only get the cake, but not the pineapple, which is definitely not good at all. Putting out fresh pineapples. We will be adding it like this. So the cake, when you put it on top, gets on the pineapple. So we have like a treatment. Now I'm just gonna get it fast. If you want, if you have time and all, you can do it slowly and slowly and slowly. But I want to get it fast because we also have to get it out and people are hungry. There are hungry wolves in our house. But I'm not hungry because I'm hungry when I'm tempted with the delicious pineapples. Pineapples are the best fruits, like we all know that. Because they're so juicy, sweet, slimy. Now just look how I'm putting it. Look, look at the way. <laughs> I just ate one. Now this is the way it has to be. We're gonna leave some for the deco. Important thing, make sure the pineapples do not stick to each other at all. Let's pour the batter. Our delicious cake goes into the pineapple mixture. You can see it goes around your pineapples. Now we are going to put it in the oven, set it to a temperature, and this is how much I wanted it to be. Everybody, I'm going to show you how my cake looks. And on the side, it's nice and crunchy because I decided to make my cake nice and crunchy on the side and nice and flat on the top. As you can see, there's a lot of pineapple I have stuck because I just wanted to be more fruity instead of Cakeish, because I like, I don't like, because we already made so much cakes, so I wanted to make it fruish. Thank you for watching Italian Fun World, and please like and subscribe, hit the bell button, and down below. Hi everybody. Um. Hi everybody. I think you guys remembered I made something. And here is our cake. As I said, we're making a mango cake. Here's our 